All right, guys, so welcome to this video for the second time because I forgot to record the first one. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Talktastic, a new voice-to-text app that it's really special. And I think it has something going for it if you compare it to other voice-to-text apps. Now, as you probably know, if you've been around my channel, I'm an incredible fan of Super Whisper, a voice transcription text, voice-to-text app similarly to Talktastic that I've been using for the better part of the year. Now, Super Whisper has been around for a long time, and its creator, Neil, he's just amazing at constantly updating the app with new features. And yeah, there's a huge timeline that you can see. Super Whisper has been growing like crazy, and I love it. It's become one of my favorite things ever. And Talktastic comes here with a new proposition to make things simple. So let's take a look at the computer right now. If you're already seeing my screen, you should be looking at, at the landing page for Talktastic. Simple, just say it. Similarly to Super Whisper, there are voice-to-text apps, but there's something that makes Talktastic different. As you can see, there's a bunch of stuff about how you can use it everywhere on your macOS system, which is obviously one of the huge selling points for both of these apps and other voice-to-text apps. You can use them across any of your apps like Notion, your web browser, uh, Slack, wherever you are, you will be able to use these apps with a simple shortcut. That's all amazing, but... The thing that differentiates Talktastic from other apps, it's its context awareness. So what it does, it's basically taking a screenshot every time you press the record button. And then it will use that screenshot as context for whatever it is that you are dictating. So for example, let's dive right into Notion right here, where I have a comparison between Talktastic and Super Whisper. So for instance, if I just press the Talktastic shortcut right here, you will see that this little purple thing appears in the bottom and I'm just talking out loud, so it will probably catch everything I'm saying and just trans transcribe it as text. There's little to no context on this window, so it will not really help us to compare its context awareness. So I'm going to stop recording right now, and you see that there's a little transcription chart that appears here. This is basically everything I said, and then there's the AI processing here on the right, on the bottom right, which is going to make things a little bit nicer. Now you can choose to either use the top one, just the transcript, or the bottom, the process transcript as well. Now if I just do the same here with Super Whisper and use my shortcut, you'll see that it takes a bit more to load, but this is because I'm using one of the heavier models. Now Super Whisper has a ton of models available. If you want the tiny, smallest model, it will be like super fast, but it won't be as accurate. And then if you use one of the largest models, it will be incredibly accurate, incredibly accurate but at the same time, it will take a bit more to load and to process, and it will also use more of your RAM memory. That's one of the differences that I don't know about Talktastic, if it's running the model locally or if it's running the model on the cloud. But you can see that if I stop transcribing or recording, it will take a second to just process everything that I did and put it right there. Now, this was a longer kind of speech compared to the one I did in Talktastic, so it's not a fair comparison, but you can make it yourself an idea on how long it takes to process if you're using one of the heavier models as I am doing with Super Whisper. Um, this is pretty much done. Not really. Okay, there we go. So if you compare both of the results we, hit, we have right here, you'll see that Super Whisper basically took what I said and just wrote it as it was, while Talktastic actually processed it with AI to make it look nice. This is because I am not using any extra processing on Super Whisper, which you can totally do. You can actually create your own prompts on what you want or how you want the text to be processed. For example, if I want this text to be formatted for an email, I can use a prompt in Super Whisper to make that happen. But right now we're going over Talktastic, so let's show one of its strengths. I'm going to go back to my web browser here. I'm using Arc in case you're wondering. And we're going to go to this email here. So this is an email from my insurance. And they're actually telling me, hey, more info is needed for your nomad insurance claim. I submitted a claim because I lost my AirPods. And they're requesting for a copy of the police report and a receipt of the purchase, as you can see right there. So I'm going to use Talktastic to reply to this email. Hello, nomad insurance team. I'm happy to provide you with a receipt for the purchase, but... I did not have time to actually go get a police report because I was in a rush and when I lost or got my AirPods stolen, I was actually leaving Spain at the moment. 
My claim number is CLM6000734. So I'm going to stop doing that and I'm just going to click. Oh, well, can't do that because that stuff is there. Uh -huh. I'm just going to click reply right there and I'm just going to copy it, paste it here. Okay. Hello, Nomad Insurance Team. I can provide you with a receipt for the purchase, but I was unable to obtain a police report, blah, 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 blah. So you can see that Talktastic automatically formatted this text for an email. And this is pretty cool because it knows we're looking at an email. It knows that it should be in that kind of format. So similarly to Super Whisper, I could write that whole prompt and make my transcription also have this format, but that would be an extra step. What Talktastic is doing is essentially just taking that step for me, which is pretty cool. Now let's go over another example here. Let's go to Twitter. Now, I haven't been in Twitter in a long time, so I don't know what it looks like, to be honest. Uh, all right, so we're looking at... Okay, and let's not do a controversial thing. Aha, aha, aha. Why does no one complain about this? Try our new subscription for... Okay, so we can actually go on here. And we're going to just pop a comment in there. And we're going to do that top-tastic thing. Wow, that subscription API looks pretty sick. Has anyone tried it? I'm going to stop using that. And you will see now that the format, it's actually kind of like a message format instead of an email format. This is because Talktastic, again, is taking a screenshot and it's knowing that we're just leaving a comment. So you already know most of what you have to know about Talktastic and how does it work. So let's talk about major selling points for me. First, it's entirely free. You don't have to pay anything to use it right now. If you're a Mac, it's entirely free because it's in beta, as I already said. Things to look out for are, well, there's not a lot of features compared to Super Whisper, which I'm going to show you in a minute. But Talktastic does allow you to have this context, which is pretty cool. It also allows you to just copy your regular transcription as I did with Super Whisper. So if you don't want the formatted by AI version, you can just copy the regular transcription if you want to do some changes to it, but that's about it. Now, the privacy thing, it's that we don't know exactly if this data is being processed on the cloud or if it's all being done locally. So right now, I think Super Whisper may be the best option if you're running the whole thing locally. And yeah, let's talk about Super Whisper for a second, because that's my favorite voice to text app for a while now. And let me just open it up for you so you can see the settings. So Super Whisper has a ton of AI models available for you. Instead of whatever Talktastic is using, that we really don't know what it is, here we have a bunch of models, some run locally, like the Ultra, the Pro, the Standard. All of those, you can pretty much see that run locally because we have the blue arrows here on the right. And then we have a couple of cloud options like the Nova 2. And I believe there was another one, but maybe it's not available right now. Then you also have the choice of language models. So that extra processing that Talktastic is doing with the language model, you can also do with Super Whisper and you can choose what model do you want it to be processed by. So we have the GPT-4 Turbo, GPT-4 O, Claude, Llama for it to be like super fast. So there's a bunch of stuff and most of these of course run in the cloud because they're AI models. So they're basically using the API to get you answers. But you can see that they are similar in that way. But Super Whisper, again, has a lot more choices. Then, another thing you can do in Super Whisper that I really miss in Talktastic, it's the vocabulary. So I work for MicroMentor, and a lot of times, MicroMentor get, gets, oh, sorry, text replacements, gets spelled wrongly when I'm using any kind of voice models. So usually I get some responses like MicroManager, MicroVenture, and stuff like that. As you can see, this allows you to actually put the wrong word and then correct it. So when the formatted text or the transcribed text is paste, you actually get the correct name. Talktastic is lacking this feature as well. And this is a huge feature for me because it just saves me time every time I record a message or something. I don't want to be correcting words. So the text, replace text replacements are a huge deal for Super Whisper. And also, I think, something that Talktastic could easily implement if they wanted it to. Then we have other stuff like the modes that Super Whisper also gets you. Another incredible feature. And, and you're starting to see a pattern here, right? Like Super Whisper has 
a ton more options, it's way more advanced, and Toddtastic seems more intuitive, kind of easy to use, but at the same time, it doesn't give you that control that some pro users may want. So Super Whisper allows you to actually create different modes. You can switch between modes just by toggling here. And as you can see, all of these are my modes. When I'm using the shortcut, it's easy to switch, but it's an extra step. It allows you to also capture your system audio. So for instance, if I'm watching a video on YouTube, I can just toggle that shortcut and use Super Whisper system audio and it will be transcribing everything that the video is saying. Another huge plus, because Talktastic, although it may be able to do the same, it will be actually listening to the speakers and not to the system audio. Then another nitpick that I have with Talktastic versus Super Whisper is that when you press this shortcut and you get this little purple thing here, and if you're listening to some kind of music or a video or whatever kind of sound out of your laptop, it will not stop. So you're going to have to talk over that or manually mute your laptop. While if you press the Super Whisper shortcut, it will actually mute your computer automatically. And this is, of course, uh, an option that you can toggle between on and off, but it's extremely handy. And it's an another quick win that I think that Talktastic could implement. So that's pretty much it. You also get your recording history. So this is all the audios that I've done and they're all stored locally. You can, again, regenerate the transcription if for some reason you missed something or the transcription didn't generate for any, any kind of reason, you have it right there. Another thing that Super Whisper has over Talktastic is the ability for you to just transcribe any audio file. So you see here the option transcribe file. I can just click that and then it will open up my documents. Well, that didn't work this time. It will open up my documents for me to select what audio do I want to transcribe. So here's a quick video that I was playing around with AI and you will see that it will transcribe that in any second. Again, it's slow because I'm using one of the largest models, but usually it's pretty fast. Also, it may be slow because I'm recording. So yeah, you can see here that it transcribed the video automatically and it gave me the audio. That's pretty cool. And actually, this video was in Spanish. It automatically translated it to English because the language that I was using was English. It's also pretty cool. So again, you can see how Super Whispers stacks against Talktastic. Now, do I believe that Talktastic has a shot at going against the king Super Whisper in this space? Quick answer is yes. Because I already told you that what makes Talktastic special for me and why I've been enjoying to use it this last couple of days, it's because of its simplicity. And it gets its awareness from the whole screenshot. So usually, it will help you to spell out names correctly. Let's say if you're having a conversation over Slack or sending an email or anything like that, it will get the name of the person you're talking to. So it will spell the name correctly 9 out of 10 times. Something that Super Whisper still lacks. Also, there may, may be a possibility that using Talktastic right now, it's better if you have an older Mac that can't really run the larger models in Super Whisper. Because I believe that Talktastic is doing everything actually on the cloud instead of processing it locally. And we can pretty much find out by looking at the activity monitor right here. So we're looking at the memory and we're just going to run this Talktastic thing right here and let's try to find top testing because I can't I can't see it so this is a good thing obviously okay yeah you can see it right there it's using about 80 megabytes of memory so this is almost nothing and let's check super whisper and right now it's also not using a bunch but if I activate the model here then you see that it will jump to 3.5 gigabytes which is a lot of your RAM Especially when I'm editing, I tend to use a different model here, uh, which is the cloud model. So that number right here decreases a little bit. It's basically doing the same as Talktastic in that case. But you can see that they both have options. Again, Super Whisper will probably require you to have a paid account if you want to use some of the cloud models, while Talktastic right now, it's free. So give it a shot. I believe that Talktastic is a good contender for Super Whisper, maybe in the long term, if you can find a niche in the market. But at the same time, if you don't want to mess with a thousand options like you have in Super Whisper, then Talktastic may be perfect for you or anybody who just values simplicity and fast actions. 
Now, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you leave a like, a subscribe, a comment, whatever it is that you feel like I am missing in this video, let me know. And I will continue to look at Talktastic in the next couple of weeks. I plan to give some feedback to its creator as well, because I believe that this could be a really cool product in the long term. And yeah, my name is Fernando Selmi. As you already know, I'm a nomad and productivity addict. That's why you're here looking at tools, which is something that I'm a, like extreme geek on. Uh, and yeah, I will be catching you later. Right now, I'm in Turkey. I'm in Izmir. And I've been staying here for a couple of weeks already. I think I'm going to go to Istanbul soon, but I'm not sure. And just continue the travels until the bags can't go in the airport anymore because I'm too tired to carry them. Anyways, I'll catch you guys soon. Thank you. <laughs>